Hello and welcome to this managerial accounting video where we will practice preparing a production budget. We will be using the problem shown on this screen which is exercise 510 in the managerial accounting textbook by Davis and Davis, the second edition. If you don't have the data handy you might pause the video and print the screen. Okay let's take a look at the data that we have here. Uh, this is a company that makes and sells drum sets and they're giving us this sales forecast for the upcoming months. They expect to have 5,000 drum sets in ending inventory on March 31st and the company's policy is to carry 50% of the following month's projected sales in ending inventory and we're to prepare the production budget. Okay so let's start by making a heading. This is Julian Inc. And this is our production budget for the second quarter. Okay, so production budgets always begin with budgeted unit sales, which are the same as the forecasted unit sales here. So let's call this budgeted unit sales. And then we're just going to take our numbers from here and put them across. Let's label these months. This is going to be April, May, and June. And then here we'll put the quarter total. Okay, so our budgeted unit sales for the whole quarter, let's add up those numbers, and we have 30,000 in total for the quarter. All right, so when we're making a production budget, we want to produce enough units to cover our sales for that month, plus we need to have some in ending inventory at the end of the month. We can't have zero on hand when that month comes to a close. So our budgeted ending inventory is going to be added to what we need. They tell us that this company's policy is to carry 50% of the following month's projected sales and ending inventory. So this is going to be equal to 0.5 times the following month's sales. And we're going to do the same. I could just drag that formula across here. And then for here, it's going to be 0.5 times July's sales. Oops, let me do that again. 0.5 times July sales. Okay. All right. Now the quarter as a whole, our ending inventory at the end of the quarter is going to be equal to the ending inventory for June because that's the end of the quarter. All right. This is going to give us our total units required. We're simply going to add these units together. and that works all the way across. All right, so those are all of the units we need for the quarter for the month for each of those months. The next thing we're going to look at is how much do we have on hand at the beginning? So we know that we need these numbers of units, but then we're going to have some on hand. So we're going to take those out of the units that we need to produce. So we're going to say less beginning inventory For April, the data tells us that our beginning inventory is 5,000 drum sets. Okay. Now, our, our beginning inventory for May is equal to our ending inventory from April. Okay, so this is equal to that, right? The beginning inventory from one month is equal to the ending inventory from the prior month. Same with June. The beginning inventory for June is going to be equal to the ending inventory from May. Now, finally, for the quarter, our beginning inventory for the quarter as a whole is going to be the beginning inventory for April because April was the beginning of the quarter. All right, this is going to give us our budgeted production. So we're going to take the total units required, subtract the beginning inventory, and that will give us our budgeted production. I'm going to drag that all the way across. You might double check here. I'll do it over here. This is going to be equal to both 
the 34, 5 minus the 5, which we already did, but it should also be equal to these three added together. So you want to make sure that they're equal, which they are. Okay, so all of our math is correct. And that's the end of our production budget. That's the end of this video, and I hope you find this helpful in your studies.